Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the People's Lima, episode 230. My name is Eric Lima, how y'all doing out there? Um, there's a, a couple of things I want to get touch base on before we get started. Uh, from now, from here on in, I will not talk about my uh, job situation on YouTube because I know a lot of executives over on the company that I work with um, watch, watch these videos. Just watch, watch these videos and um, I don't want to get in, in hot water of any of them. Um, and another thing is I will not complain about the weather uh, as far as the winter weather is concerned. And the uh, reason being is that, you know, my attitude towards the winter, as you know, I hate the winter, obviously. And just and just to, uh, just I don't want to be going, oh my God, it's going to snow again. Oh, listen, it's New England, we've got to get used to it. What can you do, huh? But, but the good news is I think this, um, we're, we're on a winter storm watch and, uh, no, a lot of people, you know, meteorologists can't make up their minds well, how much we're going to get and out, you know, and all that good stuff. It just, you know, you know, we have one range at two to four, the other is three to six, the other is four to seven. So it was like a little mix mash. And if I say this, I, to me, it doesn't matter. If we stay south of a, of a foot, we're okay, you know. Uh, it's it, it's nothing compared to what we had uh, a couple weeks ago as far as uh, a little over a week ago. As far as you know, the blizzard of 2015 is concerned, so um, I may not be on here online for a while. It all depends on how this uh, how the storm system goes. You know, I hope it goes smoothly for us, and I hope uh, and I hope and pray that um, everything will be uh, all right. Hopefully, we will get out of here. And, you know, and uh, I know we all want we're all sick of snow. We all want spring. We all want summer. Hey, I'm one of you guys out there. So, yeah. and those of you who like snow, hey, you know what? You got more than enough. You know. The only problem is we have where to put it all. That's, you know, I think a lot of people are getting sick of that, too. It's like, you know, it's costing people a lot of money, you know, and everything else. So we don't, um, we'll find out what 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 goes down. And uh, when I get back from the snow shoveling venture, I will uh, report on what's going to be, what the goings on there. But I will not complain about the weather on here or complain about my job, current job situation on here. Um, you know, it, it, this one, this one's a part-time job, but I should be thankful for it. But sometimes, you know, when you want to, you want to kick things up a notch, you're like, okay, what, what can I do? You know, what can I go? I mean, like I said, I've been planning online and all that. So we'll see what happens from here on in. And, um, we'll see what, um, what the future holds and for what 2015, the rest of 2015 holds for me. So I got to, uh, you know, just, just do my thing and just, uh, just do my thing until until things change, and uh, I should be thankful for the changes. I mean, I'm not getting any younger either, so that 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 goes into account as well. Well, I finally did something I haven't done in a while due to all this craziness. Is take a shower and look at me. I'm well shaved and well clean. And you like my Super Bowl hat? You like my Super Bowl hat? Yes, right. Four times Super Bowl champions, and everybody's you know. I watch these YouTube videos of Patriot fans reacting to to the interception and whatnot. That. To Malcolm Butler's interception, and that is just makes my heart feel good to see other fellow Patriots fans get excited. So I would have done that, but I did that for the World Series, of course. Um, it's it's um, totally, I mean, it's totally rad to see to see that. And uh, yeah, I gotta say, you know, I'm looking forward to wearing this all spring and summer too, unless the Red Sox start winning. And that's um, another thing too. The Red Sox season, I'm looking forward to baseball season to see what it would happen when. Um, you know, with the with the Sox this year. I mean, we don't have a necessarily official ace, but if somebody could step up and be an ace, go right ahead. Um, you know, we have uh, Wade Miley, uh, Rick Porcello, um, still got Buck Holtz. You got still got Joe Kelly in there, and we have the returning Justin Masterson. And there's your five man rotation, which is I think, yeah, you know, we'll see what happens there. Um, the lineup is going to be a little different, obviously, with the. Uh, you know, uh, Yoan Cespedes is out. He got traded to Detroit. And we got um, Ruzne Castillo. We got Pablo Sandoval. And Henry Ramirez added to the lineup with Pedroia and Napoli in there. And uh, I think Vasquez will be the new catcher um, for the um, for the 2015 team. So it'll be very interesting to see how this goes down, how this plays out. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm looking forward to 2015, the rest of 2015, obviously. Um, I'm curious what it brings and what will happen. And uh, 
And, uh, you know, I praise God for 2015, you know. Um, and uh, the only, the only, the, probably the only problem I will have in 2015, hopefully be the only problem, is where am I going to go for the summer? I want to go on vacation. And as you know, I'm going back to my job, you know, I'm reaching five months in May, not five months, five years in May, working for the company at the mall. Uh, to give me a three weeks vacation, so that's that's a pleasant problem to have, you know, because you never know when you're gonna need those vacation days, you know. That's the thing. There's three weeks for it. That's 21 days to use up. So that's I still got I still got hours from my uh, free from from this year's vacation. Um, from this year left over. I got 13 hours left, so I got to use them up and use them up fast. I'm probably gonna use them towards the end of March and probably beginning of April. You never know. Um, that's what my plan plan of attack is for right now. Mm. And uh, you know, like I said, the, the summertime is uh, coming. When the summertime comes, where am I going to go for the summer? That's a good question. The Well City Festival is out of commission, uh, thanks to uh, uh, people in the Bedford not funding it anymore. And uh, hey, listen, it's not it's not the uh, politicians' fault, man. It's it's the uh, the fault of the of uh, no of the people, you know. I hate to say it, but it, unfortunately, no one want, wants to fund the festival because people lose a lot of money. The reason I lost a lot of money is because the curfew went down from 9 to 8, you know, and that's not really cool because of a brawl that happened back in 2006, I believe, or was it 2007? I think it was 2007 or 2006 or 2007. I think it was 2006, and ever since then, the, the festival declined over the years, and then um, last year was the first time it got canceled. In almost 45 years, so it would be 45 years this year for the Wellness State Festival. We'll see what see what happens there. So uh, we'll see what 2015, the rest of 2015 holds, and uh, looking forward to it. Um, Got to conquer February first, guys. I mean, we're starting the half week. Well, we only have four weeks of February, but we got six more weeks of this winter crap, and uh, we'll be in halfway month. And after after Tuesday, I think we'll be okay after that. Hopefully. And um, we'll see what happens. Well, this is Eric Lehman saying, um, be cool, stay silent. Remember, kids, be like Billy, behave yourself. Have a nice day. Go shop at Kmart. Uh, save the Texas Prairie Chicken. And thanks for pressing your luck. I hope everything you're going for hits the bullseye. See ya. So long. 2015. Let's rock.